Hi everyone, this is Beachbody coach Jackie Grimes from the Way to Maintain blog and today I have a review of the brand new workout from Masters Hammer and Chisel called ISO Speed Hammer and you can read the full review on my website which is waytomaintain.com and I also have a printable weight tracker that you can download so you can record the weights that you use as you go through the workouts. Now right now the workout is only available on Beachbody On Demand because it hasn't been released yet. It will be released in December and you can get the whole program at Beachbody but for right now you have to have a club membership which you can get a free trial and if you go to the review at my website I have a link where you can get a free 30-day trial on the Beachbody On Demand. So let's go through the um, fantastic review here and I just wanted to share that this is my super busy mom who is not an expert review so I'm not a beginner but I'm also not a physical trainer or anything like that right now I'm going through body beast and I have lifted weights before but this is just sort of my every person review for real life people who are not um, you know, gym bros or anything like that. So in my review, I talk about an equipment list. So what are the things that you need to do this workout? What exercises are in the workout? My overall impression, what I liked about it, what I didn't like. Um, and my, on my website, you have a video snippet from the workout. And I also give you a bad knee modification for one of the moves in here. So here's the basics. So the trainer is Sagi Kalev. And he is the hammer of the hammer and chisel. And you may know him from Body Beast. And that is a, a super uh, weightlifting program, which I'm in the middle of right now and totally love. So in this um, ISO Speed Hammer, Sagi is working with two women and one man, which is nice. If you've done Body Beast before, it's all men, which is totally fine because I love male eye candy, cannot lie. But as a woman, I'd like to see other strong capable women in the videos and so this time you do have that it's a 23 minute workout so it's very short so it's one of those no excuses workouts everybody has 23 minutes in their day and the equipment that you need is a resistance band or a towel if you don't have one a pull-up bar or you can use your band a weight bench or you can substitute a ball and then dumbbells the ISO speed hammer workouts basically uses tempo training with speed and isometric holes so you're going to build strength and grow muscles and there's a dynamic warm-up that uses the resistance band and then the actual strength training part of the workout it's 11 exercises what you do is 10 reps at a slow three-part pace and then you do 10 reps fast and then you cool down so here are the exercises that you're going to see in the program. And it's like good old fashioned weight training, no nonsense moves. Um, you do push ups, you do reverse static lunges with weights, you do chin ups, and you can do a modification using the resistance band, which is shown on the video. But I'll tell you what, if you don't have a pull up bar, invest in one because it's great. And especially if you're a woman, I mean, like, there's nothing as super cool as saying that you can rock a push-up. So definitely get that chin-up bar. Also, you have deadlifts, side lateral raises, a rear cross delt fly. Now this move is shown in the video using the bands and I, I wasn't that super thrilled with it using the bands. As a modification, you can use weights and I'll definitely do that next time. I feel like you get a little more um, resistance using the weights. And then here was my favorite move, the pistol squat with weight. So you can see Sagi doing it here. And I have really bad knees. So I cannot bend and put all my weight on one leg and bend it. So I had to modify. And the one thing about this program is there's no modifier shown. There is the limited equipment person, but there's not a person modifying the moves if you're a beginner or if you may have some issues. So I know myself and I know I couldn't do it. So this was sort of my tip if you do have bad knees and you need to modify. So in this photo here, you can see he has his one leg out in front and then he's bending his other leg. So you're working that bending leg. And if you can't bend on that leg and put all your weight on it, I would just suggest take that front leg and like tap your toe down. So you have it down 
for balance, but it's not, you're not really supporting much weight on it. It's more for balance and support. And then you just bend that knee as far as you can, as far as is comfortable. So this is what I did. I've only done the workout once. And I also did not use weights for this particular one just to see how my knees are going to do with it. So that's my little tip for the pistol squats. Then you do some curls, you know, your face down on the bench or the ball. Oh, I had <laughs> up here in the slide here, I have the pounds that I used. And on my review on the website, I did list all the weights that I used for each of the exercises, just as a reference for just a regular person who, like I am not a beginner to weightlifting, but I'm also not super strong, just to give you an idea of the weight range that you would need. They have calf raises. You can add weights to that, which I did, and tricep kickbacks. Um, what I liked about this is that it is a super quick workout. As I ha have here, hashtag no excuses. Everybody has 23 minutes. It's fast paced and your heart rate really does get up there. I felt like I was getting a killer workout. Sugi is definitely a stickler for form. So if you've done body bees, you know that he always explains what is perfect form. And he will talk to the people who are doing the workout as well and point out any errors that they're making. He recommends at the beginning of the video that you use Beach Body Performance Hydrate, which is um, like a sports drink and it replaces electrolytes. So if you're a runner and you run long distances, you would use something like that. In my unprofessional opinion, I really don't think it's necessary. I mean, I, I felt like I got a great workout. I was sweating a little bit, but I don't think it was enough for the hydrate, at least for me. Now, what I liked about ISO Speed Hammer, it was fast paced. I like Sagi, and I have to tell you that he grew on me because I tried doing Body Beast, gosh, quite a while ago, and I felt like I was in this like super secret men's society, like where they're all lifting weights. Because if you've seen Body Beast, there's just men in there, and it's all like, let's get huge. And he's always saying things like, man up. Well, you just feel like an outsider. But I really committed to going through the program this time, and I'm starting week seven. So he has grown on me, and I do like him. So I enjoy him in this video. I liked that there are women in the video working out with him. I like that it's really no-nonsense strength training moves. It's super fast. Like I said before, if you have just a tiny bit of time, you can get this workout done. I enjoy total body routines. So if you've done Body Beast, you know that you're working one body part at a time once per week. So you have your leg day, your back day, <clears throat> um, your chest day, and that type of thing. I like working the whole body because, like, I don't know about you, but for me, I like to work legs more than once per week because I feel like that's an area I really need some help in. So I enjoyed that it's total body. And then there is the person showing limited equipment. So if you don't have a weight bench or if you don't have a resistance band, I would say if you don't have a resistance band, get one. Now I do not have a weight bench and what I use instead of a ball, I do have a ball, but I use like one of those aerobic steps from back in the day. And that's what I use as my weight bench. Now here's what I didn't like. So I didn't like the pistol squats and the pull-ups. And I say that sort of tongue in cheek, don't get me wrong, because what that shows me is those are areas of weakness. Like I definitely know at this point in time, I cannot do a pull-up. I had done another program before and I worked for like three months to be able to do pull-ups and I was so proud of myself. But what happened is that when I stopped doing pull-ups, I lost the ability to do them. And so I have to work back up and I haven't gotten to that point yet. So I definitely need to work on my pull-ups and the pistol squats. Again, that's more of an issue with my knees, um, but I know that that's an area I need to improve. I, I'm not super thrilled that it was short. I mean, it's 23 minutes and it's a great get or done workout. But when I work out, I like at least 30 minutes. 45 is probably what I enjoy. I don't mind going an hour on occasion. So if I were doing this, I would probably either run through it twice or I would combine that with cardio or take a walk or take a run, something like that. And then the other issue that I had was that there was no modifier. So again, in this, this photo here, you can see, I don't know if you can see my cursor there, the lady that she has the towel 
instead of the resistance band. So she's showing you the limited equipment options, but there's no modifier. Um, like, for example, if you've done 21 day fix, you know that there's someone who shows that a little less intensity. And I feel like that might be a good idea if you have beginners using this program. So there you have my review of the ISO speed hammer. Again, if you go to my website, waytomaintain.com, you can get my full review. There is a printable weight tracking worksheet that you can just download and print. And it, I believe I have five um, spaces on there. So in other words, you could do five workouts and track your weights for all of those, which I kind of like because I can see how I'm progressing from workout to workout because you want to be able to increase your weights over time. So thank you guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed this review.